you know, when, when you look at something, question the necessity. I mean, just last week, it was a tiny thing, but, you know, the, uh, it was a bill about, uh, I think it was just some kind of cyber protection kind of deal we were s- signing a three-year contract for. And I'm sitting there reading the thing, and the invoice is $54,000, which is, it was three years, the whole city. All, but on the or, on our uh, resolution ordinance, whatever it was, it was 74. And I'm just going, well, which is it? What's the number? And and then, sure enough, get Tuesday night, they pulled it. The, we need to go back and see what's going on there. And that's a, In the scheme of the city, that's a tiny p- bit of money. But I just... I'll, I just want the answer. The answers they usually give me a good answer, so it's not something that happens all the time. But I just like this to um, to take a hard look at it. Uh, you can you can also get corrected. I, I, I told this at the um, meeting uh, last Thursday night. But um, I, when I first got on council, uh, or when I was first running for council, met with chief our police chief at the time, Ralph Evangelist, and. I was kind of looking, I knew like we, to start, we, or we were talking beforehand about police. Uh, we were shorthanded a little bit at, in police. We always are, are down a few, but we were shorthanded. And I was trying to, where do we find more money? And I was looking, looking through these folks that we, uh, help support. Um, and there was $30,000 for Brigade Boys Club and 30,000 rough numbers for the community boys club. I said, Hey, there's, you know, we cobbled that together. We got two rookie police officers, and and he goes, "No, I'll need 10. <laughs> he, he goes, he goes, no, that is money well spent. You're keeping kids active in the afternoon, help them with their homework in school. I mean, help them with their school, keeping them active." He said, "That that's don't touch that money." Uh, so that's that's you, police officer training. It, it works both ways. I mean, sometimes yes. there's waste and sometimes there's smart use. And we've chosen them in, instead of trying to run like a lot of after school programs, like a lot of cities do to, to just give a little piece to people that already do that and have a passion for it and are usually in, the, in the nonprofits and have facilities, et cetera. Uh, 